that I've let the grass get way out of hand out here. Um, I don't think it's really growing in the beds per se, but it's actually spread out and of course got roots. Um, it likes to um, start out here along the edge between the weed mat and where I have the wooden barrier because that's not really sealed with weed mat. There's, there's a little bit of dirt there. So um, this grass is very invasive. Very, it just spreads everywhere. So I've gotten out here earlier in the morning before the sun shines um, on this part and hopefully I can get it all taken care of. this burlap covering here and the tendora is going all over the ground oh it's fruiting I'll have to show you that um, but I want it to go up and over the trellis but it really can't if I have this burlap which I guess it could but I don't want it to intertwine with the burlap so I'm cutting this off I had put this here to kind of shade the area just a little bit um, That's what I'm doing. Hey, buddy, Scruffy, what you doing? Got that one pretty tight. Just cutting the zip ties off. I want to show you this Tendora. Can you see these? They're really, really cool. I'm excited to see this. I have grown up and around my turmeric. Let's see if we can't get it to go up more. It's growing all over the ground here, which is fine. I guess it can be a, a ground cover as well. I just really don't want all the fruits to be on the ground necessarily. But check this activity out down here. Let's see if I can get it focused. The sugar ants are alive and moving their nest, it would appear. They're crawling all over me too. That's pretty cool.
it's time to plant some more lettuce seeds. We have gotten a good run out of our lettuce that we planted previously. Um, we're gonna plant and fill these four up with just garden soil. Just general garden soil, nothing fancy. Um, because that's what we have. So that's what I'm gonna use. All right, so the trays are full with the potting mix. It's a little bit dry, so I am going to go ahead and pre-soak it and make sure it's fully soaked, uh, make sure that it's not um, repelling water before I actually plant the seeds. Um, it may take a few times, but I just wanna make sure that it's nice and moist. So the water's kinda sitting in this one, so I'm thinking that it's, yeah, it's quite dry underneath. I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's gonna take some soaking so I watered these in and mixed them up. Um, they're pretty hydrophobic, which means that the soil has gotten so dry that it actually repels water instead of absorbs it. Um, but I'm hoping that well actually it looks like it's working with mixing it with my hands with the water it seems to be um, making the process faster to get it turned back to regular absorbent soil um, so I filled them with water and I'm just gonna kind of let them sit for just a little bit and uh, check on them in a second but I'm almost ready to plant I think so while the soil soaks up water outside this is how our lettuces are doing we have a lot more harvests to go off of them, and um, this is the rainbow pot, pot or the rainbow, um, oh, Swiss chard, and it's getting really colorful, really tall, and the endive here really filled out. So we've still got quite a bit to go on these, but we thought we would go ahead and start more. Um, so that we make sure we don't run out. And uh, we just keep clipping it off and it just keeps growing. So this is a really great option to have homegrown lettuce during the summer. As you've noticed probably that I'm curing all of these butternuts here. I've got more to harvest, uh, but this is working out as a doubled up purpose. Um, one for growing and one for curing. All right, so I've let these sit. It looks like they're all right. They're plenty moist. It's not dry underneath. And I've got my seeds together ready. I'm gonna do burpee bib, green curled endive, igloo lettuce, and red salad bowl. So they need to be buried about a quarter inch deep. And we're gonna harvest these small, so I'm not going to need to give them a whole lot of space but just maybe an inch or so apart or inch and a half so I'm using this kind of square head just pushing it down it's just an idea and these are so tiny I'll probably end up putting more than one seed in the hole. So we've actually been eating on the other stuff for, I don't know, almost a month now, I guess. So it, um, from actual ability to harvest when it, it's beyond germination and it grows enough to harvest. So it's been about a good, a good month. And it takes some of these new seeds It'll take them around seven, 70 days to, uh, until harvest from when I put them in the ground to harvest. So I don't know if our greens that we have in there right now will last that long, but um, that's something that we'll just have to figure out because they're just still growing really strong. Every time that I um, harvest, they just, they just grow. They just continue to grow and grow and grow. So. 
Um, I think we have a good chance of making it until these are ready with the lettuce that we have. I haven't been having to buy lettuce at the store, so that's been really great. Okay, so I've got these down here in the grow lights. And I will just wait to see when they come up and when they start sprouting. Thanks so much for joining me today. It's a hot one. You see, I've changed. I, I took a shower and um, I just needed to get freshened up because it was so hot earlier. Um, you guys don't get too hot out there. Make sure you drink plenty of water and I will see you next time. God bless.